Okay, so I am here under this uh, Rainer Cascadia, and uh, what I am doing right now is helping my friend. Uh, he replaced a clutch. This clutch is brand new, as you can see. But um, the owner keeps complaining on, uh, then the clubs keeps on slipping um, when he's going on, on a heavy load. Um, he did, did replace the clutch with a new one. He didn't replace the flywheel. He reused the same flywheel. He went and resurfaced the flywheel only. Uh, but um, the problem is still there. So uh, today I'm going to help him to find the cause of the problem because he doesn't know what is going on on this um, truck. So I am here underneath this truck, uh, inspecting it, and uh, the clutch looks in a good condition until I start paying caution attention. The clutch is brand new, it's a solo clutch, see, you can barely see it, and uh, if I go a little closer, let me see how I can put the camera in there, because we have a lot of stuff over here, okay, let me see, over here. Right here. Alright, so I wanna zoom the camera right now. Okay, right there. You can clearly see the mark over there that looks like oxidation. That mark is clearly a sign of a wear. See right here? This means then the clutch is been uh, moving around, vibrating left and right when uh, the uh, truck is in motion really right here see and uh, you can clearly see in the flywheel is resurface uh, right there but for some reason uh, the uh, clutch is not touching the surface of the flywheel and that is the reason why we are getting this vibration here so what I wanna do is to uh, remove the bolts and inspect them that is the process that you have to do to find out the problem. So uh, I'm going to remove the bolts and I will get back to you. All right, the bolt is completely removed and I have two bolts removed. I have uh, a tool to, to show you right here. You can clearly see a difference between the two bolts. This bolt that I have right here, this bolt, you can clearly see the tip of the bolt then has a mark and this one doesn't see this one is clean from the top theory we can say but the other one has a mark see this mark means then the ball has been touching the uh, surface where the uh, ball stops and uh, that's the reason why this ball is not actually making complete pressure on the fly on the clutch to the flywheel and the other one right here see it doesn't have anything it's clean this means that this one is in a good condition so we have a problem and the problem is then the flywheel over there uh, is not in a good condition probably the flywheel is unbalanced or when it was resurfaced was not resurfaced uh, properly causing an unbalanced situation and causing this then the bolts are not actually getting tight uh, the bolt is getting tight for sure uh, but the bolt is not actually uh, pushing the clutch all the way in and that is the reason why the clutch keeps on spinning um, so uh, basically this is the problem and the solution can consist in different things one solution you can uh, have on this one is to install some washers on the pole so you can uh, create more uh, uh, just stand out the ball, you know, like it uh, stand out so that way you can create more pressure on the clutch. That will be the cheap solution. Uh, probably it can work, but the problem is then if the clutch is the uh, flywheel is unbalanced, we're gonna have a problem.
And the other thing we have we can do is like remove the clutch again and replace the flywheel and that will be the proper solution. That flywheel needs to be replaced. And uh, as a recommendation, if you are doing a clutch job, be sure to replace the flywheel. Don't reuse the same one because you can create a problem like this and then it's gonna be a headache for you. This is just my recommendation. But I hope you like this video. If you do, make sure to comment below and leave any type of comments, questions, opinions, experiences, and anything else that can make this video more helpful. If you wanna send support to my channel, check the video description where I have details how to send support to the channel to create content like this for all of you. Follow me on Instagram, Francisco Maya YouTube, and you can ask me anything there as well. Uh, like the video, share, subscribe, and thank you for watching.